It's one thing to be hungry, it's another thing when you're starving. Starving for greatness and starving for success. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end because that makes me tougher. That makes me harder mentally and physically. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You're not in love with the process. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. You still got work to do. All the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say. You got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. It takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Without discipline, you're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Losers always take instant gratification. Winner's mentality is, I know what I gotta do. And I do it today, I do it tomorrow, and I do it every motherfucking day from here until the end of time, and then I do it some more. Dedication, hard work. Dedication, hard work. I'm a one-man army. The world can go against me. I'm still coming on top. I need you to go harder than you've ever gone before. I need you to be more dedicated than you've ever been before. Life's one big f***ing head game. You play with yourself. If you lose, it's because you allow life to get in your f***ing head. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the f***ing island, burn your f***ing boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. There is no plan B. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. Every single person that wins big, they only have one motherfucking plan. And that is, they are going to win or they are going to die f***ing trying. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. So as we look in the future, we can decide that from this day forward, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. You want something? Go get it. Period. The dream is you gotta shut out every single thing and you gotta believe I am the greatest. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you wasn't ready. But if you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. If you're gonna be successful in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more. When it's over. When they're tired. When they're frustrated. When they're ready to give up. When they spent their last dime. That's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money. When all your energy go. When you have nothing left. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. This. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. Never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something, and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. 
I don't want you to keep doing dumb stuff and say, my life is miserable. No, your life is not miserable. Your ability to make adjustments, to make corrections is messed up. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's a choice. You just have to wake up. You just have to break through. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The car runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. So stay right now. Take advantage of today. Tomorrow might not exist. Tomorrow, yes, if it comes, great. If tomorrow comes, it's a 